So this is a Buccaneer schooner, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake. We'll take you through these in person here on site. Um, we'll also take you through um, how to hook up. Got the gas bottle and gas, uh, gas regulator and gas pipe work in the front of the caravan and your two gas bottle tie downs. On this particular van you have the self-leveling system, so we'll demonstrate that while you're here on site also. Uh, and I'll walk you through that so you can see it going up and down as it needs to. The Aldi heating and hot water flue on the side of the caravan needs to be left open at all times as it is now. Um, so doesn't get, so don't cover it up or lean anything against it essentially. You've then got your water pump connection on the side of the caravan. Very simple to use. It pulls out and pushes in and then you can pull down the grey cap to lock it in place and the pipe itself will drop down inside the water barrel. You then have a dog shower attachment, should you wish to use it, on the side of the caravan. And then you've got your battery box with your battery terminals on top to connect to the battery and your mains power lead coming to the side of the van also. That connects to the power on site and we'll walk you through how to turn on the systems from inside of the caravan itself. The little locker here you see on the outside is actually a storage locker. Um, so you can open it up and put bits and pieces in there should you need to. The motor mover will take you through here on site also and we'll also talk the wheel nuts to the correct manufacturer setting so you can see they have been done here as well. Grey pipes coming out the side of the caravan is where your two grey waste pipes go. So that is the drain down pipe. So you have put the two pipes into the larger diameter circles on the outside there and they'll drop down inside your waste master. On the back of the caravan, you then have your toilet flush tank. Toilet flush tank, you release from inside the valve by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out, you've got a measure for your, gray, uh, for your blue fluid on the back here and you've got an orange pressure relief button on the back, so you press that button in as you're tipping the waste away so it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. In the cassette, you'll need to put one litre of water prior to use and a capful of the blue fluid. The rear, of the rear of the cabin again, you've got your wind down legs, uh, sorry, not your wind down legs, your uh, automatic legs. And on the door side of the caravan, you've got storage for underneath the beds at the rear, or for the bed at the rear. Your two fridge vents, which are simply there to allow hot air at the back of the fridge unit and to take some cool air in. And behind the top one, there'll also be a gas flue for the fridge itself. You've got a storage locker for underneath the front seating area and your barbecue gas point at the front. Up to the left of the door, as you walk in, you've got your main power switch for the caravan. Sorry, just there on the left hand side, that's your main power switch. You've then got your lighting coming along here on the different switches. Um, as you go around the caravan, I'm sure you'll see the different lights coming on and off. Above that you have your heating and hot water control panel. Below that you have your water pump controls and then you've got your voltmeter and your onboard water tank level on the two buttons here. I'll come back to these in a moment and I'll also come back to the control panel in a moment. The first thing you're going to need to do once you've got the main power turned on on the switch is fill the water system up. So to do that, you're going to come over to every tap on board the caravan, open them all up on the hot side. As you can see, I've already uh, bled the water system on this van. But then you're going to come underneath the seat on the front right hand side. Open both of the catches up. Then underneath the seat, you will find a yellow drain down valve. Now to fill the water system up, you need to make sure that valve is parallel with the floor as it is at the moment. If that valve is upright and pointing towards the bottom of the seat, it will drain all of the water out of the system on board the caravan and straight back onto the floor underneath. So while that valve is parallel and the taps are open, in the set, uh, open on the hot side of the water system, you then have two ways of filling the water system up. You can either run from your external supply, which is the ACRA roll on the outside. So you put this switch downwards and that will allow the water system to fill up from the ACRA roll on the outside. Or you can put it to the internal tank and it'll actually fill the onboard water storage tank in the back of the caravan. If you're going to fill that tank, you would need to make sure 
that the valve on the side of the seat is in the closed position, which is this valve down here. Because if I open that up and put the uh, the so the blue valve, if I put that circle piece to the right hand, or to, let me put it so you can see it properly, the right hand side of the screen, it would actually drain all of the water out of this onboard water tank, very similar to that yellow valve does at the front of the caravan. So you carry on or continue to fill the water system until you've got water running out of every tap continuously on board the van. Now hopefully you can just about see that steam in there to see the hot water system is working. But now the water system's full, I'm going to turn every cap, uh, tap off inside of the van because that is the water system full. And then I can start thinking about warming the water on board the van and heating the caravan. On the control panel by the door, the Audi control panel that you see just here, you've got an on off button in the bottom left hand corner. You do need to turn this control panel off before you turn the power off on board the caravan. On the screen here, it's coming up letting me know that we've got mains power coming into it and we've got the room temperature just below that. So I'm going to hit the menu button. To set your room temperature, very simple, you've got minus or plus. Higher you go, the hotter the caravan will be. So very straightforward there. Below that you've got your water heating. So you've got water heating off when this bar is empty here. When I hit the button once, this bar will go half full and that will be hot water on. If I press the button again, it will be hot water boost. So this bar is completely full. So halfway up, hot water on. And when it's completely full, hot water boost. Below that, you have your option of how much power is coming into the caravan. So this is relevant to the amount of power that is going to be run through the heating and hot water systems only. If you're off grid, you can have this set to off. However, if you're on, on site with main hookup, you've got the option of one, two or three kilowatts of power coming into the caravan. Now, the only way to know how much power you've got coming into the caravan is to ask the site office when you arrive. You can also run the heating and hot water systems on gas. And again, that is very simple to do. You'd make sure the gas is turned on in the front locker. Hit the gas button in the bottom left hand corner. The system will self ignite on gas. And if it failed to ignite, it actually come up with gas fail at the bottom of the screen and two warning exclamation marks at either end. This control panel does have some advanced settings where you can go into in here. But for these, we do advise you read the manual as it probably take me a couple of hours to go through them if I try to explain them in the video. Microwave is pretty self-explanatory, works pretty much like your household microwave. The only difference is this is an eco microwave, so it actually turns itself off after a short while of being in inactive, um, just to save some power. So you need to hit that eco button just there to get it to come back on. Below that you have the options for the fridge. So you've got power on, on the bottom left hand side here. And at the moment it's trying to ignite on gas. Now as I said there is no gas bottle connected at the moment so it won't ignite. Essentially, you'll hear a clicking noise once you put it onto gas, and if the gas is turned on, it will self-ignite, and this will be your pilot light, and it will be solid blue if it ignites. When it fails to ignite in a moment, you'll notice this starts to flash, the flame symbol, and so does the red warning triangle on the right-hand side. If it does fail to ignite and you want it to try and reignite again, you can press and hold the reset button on the right-hand side. It will stop, it will start clicking again once you release the button. You control the fridge temperature on mains or gas on the thermometer button on the right hand side. Now the higher you go, the colder the fridge will be. Mains power, you simply press the plug socket, uh, the plug symbol, and that will get the fridge onto mains power. If you want to use 12 volt when you're towing down the road to make the fridge a cool box, you'll press the 12 volt button here. Once you get to the car, you can make sure the control, you don't have to have the control panel turned on above the door or next to the door. You could, that can all be turned off. Just turn your fridge on, select the battery mode and away you go. And when you arrive on site, hopefully the beers and wine will be nice and chilled. The cooker, in hob and grill all work very much the same as your household appliances. The 240 electric ring on the hob will only work when you've got mains power coming to the van. Um, you have got a light inside uh, igniter on top here for the cooker and grill and you've also got a light for in your oven just next to that. The last thing we can go through on this particular caravan is the toilet system in the bathroom. Have an electric flush on the toilet that works off the water system on board the van. Have a red full indicator light 
to let you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. The toilet seat itself does turn for your convenience, however, when you are removing the waste cassette from underneath the van, you need to make sure it is square on with the back of the toilet as it is now. If it's turned, if the seat is turned at all, it will lock the toilet cassette in place. Below the toilet, you have a grey waste handle, which you need to push over to the wall before you use the loo, so it allows the waste to go into the cassette underneath. You can put it back in the shut position uh, when you're finished, and also you'd make sure it's back in the shut position when you are trying to remove the cassette from underneath the van to empty it. One last thing I'm going to go through actually on this particular video is the self-leveling. To wake up the self-leveling or to get it to turn on, you press the power button. You then have automatic down, so you press that button to get the legs to come down. And if you want the legs to come up, you'd press the button at the bottom here. And that will raise the legs off the ground. If you need it to stop, you can press the emergency stop just there. And if you want to turn the control panel off, you'll hit the power button and it will turn the control panel back off. It will also work in the same way with the handheld remote that is in the caravan. So this is the Buccaneer Schooner. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect your caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.